Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Anti Confusion. So today I'll show you that how we can record calls in Astrid. So to record calls there are two functions. One is monitor and the other is mix monitor. So both the functions work in different manner. So if you want to record the both decided conversation like I am the first person and the person I am calling to is the second person. So I want to record my my sound and the other person's also sound. So to record both the sounds I have to use monitor function and it will create two separate files for both the users. And suppose I want that both the users have only single file like person 1 and person 2 are talking to each other and their conversation should be recorded in one single file so for that we will make use of mix monitor so let's begin first of all move to our extensions.con file and inside it let's create a new extension Now let's start call monitoring. Call monitoring takes parameters. First is file extension type, and the other is file name. Let's write file name here like record. And the third parameter will be like if you want to record only one file, that is only one person's file, either receiver or sender or in calling words either calling person or the called person so you can see this documentation here in voip info org aspects cmd monitor so you can see this extension explanation and here there are many things like m b i n o so if you want only output stream skip so use O. If you want to skip input stream, then use I. And if we don't use anything, we write just this. Let's see what happens. So after monitoring start, we will dial a peer. That is our peer test one. That's it. Now let's save this and move to our console let's reload our dial plan and now make a call to 500 Before that, let's start doing calls. As you can see, now both the peers are connected. Now let's check how the files are stored there. So move to move to computer and here inside where is pull asterisk monitor we have these two files one is out and one is in. So as I told that both the files for particular user like I called from one for one user so one file is created for him and the person to whom I called for that this file is created. 
so in this way mix monitor oh sorry monitor works now let's check the other thing also that is suppose you want to store this thing this file in some folder so for that write like uh, this is folder name and this will be file name now let's see how it is stored not sure now this file should be stored inside a folder let's check it yes our file is inside a folder that is rec folder and if you want to delete this folder then you have to change the permissions by using chmod Where is pool as type monitor recall? So now you can delete the folder. As you can see, lock is removed now. So you can easily delete this folder now. And now let's do for mix monitor. For mix monitor. Let's copy this file. For mix monitor syntax is quite different. It is like your file name with with ex extension. And here mix monitor. Let's check this also. New to 500 again. Now let's check this. Okay, as you can see, now there is only one file, and this file, the single file, will contain the conversation of both the peers in it. And uh, there are many more things like you must have seen this stop monitor. So a stop monitor is like if you only want the file names or uh, you don't want to record the conversation. So for that we make use of a stop monitor and you can make use of these things B and I let's use one of them let's use O so it will skip the out, output stream file so to use O we will write it like this Let's comment this line. We don't need this. And here, write O. Now let's save and run. Hello, I am speaking from Shobhit. Now let's check whether this will get recorded or not. As you can see, the folder is here and we have this.
Hello, I am speaking from Shobhit. As you can see, it is kept the output stream file. Uh, so, it created just single file in monitor function. Okay, guys, so if you think that this is helpful for you, please like this video and subscribe my channel Anti Confusion. And in my next video, I will create AGI script by using PHP. So, thank you, guys.